Good morning, YouTubers. Although it's technically afternoon, but I slept until 12.30, so it's morning to me. This is one of those days that I woke up and I felt overwhelmed with gratitude for my life right now. Um, there's been a lot of stuff happening in my life um, lately. I know I kind of casually mentioned I got in a car wreck. Um, my car is gone for like six weeks getting repaired. I just got it two months ago. It was brand new. Honda Pilot. Um, the wreck included some casual injuries to my shoulder and neck and my foot. My foot's still healing. And, um, you know, I found myself really dragged down over the last, <clears throat> over the last week, <clears throat> dealing with mainly the injury, even though it was a part of a greater issue. And um, I'm just being reminded today that, you know, moment to moment, we're always choosing how we respond to life and how we react to life. Um, and it's so easy sometimes to get caught up in, <clears throat> yeah, I just woke up, so I'm, I'm congested. Um, it's so easy to get caught up in the, the drag and the negative that's there for us because, you know, every day someone says something that I'm just kind of like, wow, I could be really offended right now. I probably just shouldn't. I'm sure they didn't mean to offend me, but it's hard. Or you're behind someone in traffic who clearly doesn't know how to drive or your kids act up, or your boss gives you news that you have to do this, 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 and you don't want to do that. Um, and there's just constant, you know, stuff that's happening to us that's reminding us that we're out of control. And today, I'm really content with my life, with my lack, lack of control. You know, um, everything works out for the for the best of everyone. It, it really does. You know, I. I've said this before on my YouTube channel that I've looked back on so many of my life experiences that at the time, my ego, my third dimensional self, looked at it and was like, oh my God, my life's over, I'm screwed, this person broke up with me, I just failed my test, I just, you know, X, Y, Z, I am, I'm ruined, I'm ruined, the world's gonna end. Um, and it doesn't. And then later, once I let go of my egotistical views of what happened to me, I always have found the silver lining and that silver lining is always here, and it truly takes someone who is fully in their fifth dimensional self, their highest consciousness, and in connection with the higher sources of life, you know, through God and your spirit guides and all that jazz, it's, it's, it's when we remember that we're always being assisted by those things, that God and the angels are here to help us, and that no matter what kind of life you're living, you're always gonna have an up and down. You're gonna be flowing in and out of life. Um, and the choice to feel like life is going bad is always ours. It's our choice, it's no one else's. No one can tell you that. No one can walk up to you and give you a speech to make you feel that. You're always in control of your emotion and how you feel. And I'm just so thankful today. I'm so thankful today. Um, you know, it's the end of the year. All of my dance classes are coming to an end. I had my last Wednesday class yesterday. They have a recital on Monday. My last Thursday class was last week. There are recitals today. Um, <laughs> Friday doesn't end until the end of June. <laughs> but Saturday is the same way. It's ending this week and the performances are coming. And I just feel so relieved. <laughs> I was really upset yesterday. I was teaching these, these classes and you know, they're little kids and I kept thinking it would be a certain thing and I was building expectations for how they would look and blah, blah, blah. And I made many, many choices that maybe I shouldn't have made for my classes that maybe things were a little too hard, but I tend to push kids above and beyond what it is that they think they're capable. I think it's important to push them beyond their limits. Um, because it's only when we're uncomfortable they actually grow. And they might look bad now. Like they might look bad now, but it's fine. They have a kickstart for the next class. <laughs> and that teacher will thank me. <laughs> They're like, oh, you know what Ronda Joms are? Yes, they do. They might not do them very well yet, but they know what they are. <laughs> and that's what matters. So from moment to moment, guys, remember, you're in control of your own life. This is your life. You have control of it. If you're not happy with it and you think life is um, going to hell in a handbasket, it's your fault. <laughs> Fix it yourself. 